Okay, we're going to do a tutorial today on the pen tool, and we're going to jump right into it. Let's don't waste any time. We've got a lot to do. Okay, first off, you pick up your pen tool. You make a click, drag. You click, drag. The reason you drag is to pull out these handles. Okay, how do you control the handles? What do they do? Okay, the, the forward control handle here is where you're going. And the, the back one is where you bend. Now there are two buttons that you control the pen tool with, and that is the control key and the alt key. Don't bounce back and forth over here. Forget about it. When you're using the pen tool, you have got to keep on keeping on. Okay, so we're going to hold the control key. When we hold the control key, you see I move both of them. Okay, now if I once I use the alt key, I will move one by itself. Okay, this is where I'm going. And this is where I've been. Now, a lot of people will tell you to hold the Alt key and delete that node right there, that little handle. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you don't need it, then you just collapse it all the way back down in. But keep that other node open. Handle point open. Okay, so we click this one, and we're holding the Control key, and we're controlling both of them. But when you're tracing something, you don't you usually don't want to do that. So hold the Alt key, and now we're controlling one. Now, we're working with pads. Up here to the top left, you see that we're using pads. That's what we're going to talk about right now. And what people don't show you is this right here, your, pa your pads palette. Over here is where all your pad shapes when you're when you're using pads, that's where they're saved. Now you see, if uh, as long as I keep adding to this, it's going to keep adding right there. It keeps adding. Okay, and people will do entire sections of a drawing and have one deal. Well, okay, if I come over here and I select off of that, I can always click back on it. I can click on these other shapes too. But once I click off of that and I start a new one. It erases that one. How do you stop that from happening? Or, or why would you want to? You want to save your different paths. If you want to build a great big giant path, that's fine. But I like to build things in layers, just like you build in layers. Over here on your side, you don't just build one great big giant picture. You use layers. Use your paths in layers. And this is how you work. Here we go. Okay, so we've got this work path. And we're working on it. Right? Okay. How to keep that path is you say you just double click on it and you save that path. Alright? Or you can delete that path. Now the pen tool can be used as either a selection tool, a tracing tool, or a drawing tool. And we're going to talk about that. Okay, first of all, let's look at how you trace. This is just a brush that I got from brush easy and you can get that in there. Now, if you want to trace something, you click on a spot, and then you click on another spot, and you pull it out. Now, you hold the Alt key, and where are you going next? You know, you see, I'm going to go right here next. So, I drug that point there. Now, I bring that point up. Now, I'm going here, and I brought bring this out. Now, I hold the Alt key. And where am I going next? I'm going right here. Where am I going next? I'm going right here. Okay. Now I'm going to hold Alt. And I'm going to drag this point down to where I want it. And then I'm going to hit the click and hit the make another point. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this point. Now hold Alt and move it to where you're going next. Click. Make your line. Alt. Where are you going next? Click. Drag your line wherever you want it. Where are you going next? I'm going here. Shift, space bar. Now you see I can do this whole line all the way.
lay down. We can see that's going to happen. Okay. Get it right about here. Drag this out. Now you see that's not quite working for me, but we're going to go ahead and where we're going next. You know we're going there. Okay. Now we bring this one down. And we bring this one out. I'm still holding Alt. And we get this joker. Now you see this little curve here? That's no problem at all for the pen tool. You add an anchor point. That was right click, anchor point. Now I'm going to hit the control key and drag the anchor point where I want it. Now you can keep holding the, the control key and drag this point. But like I told you, see, I'm dragging both those lines. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and get this one where I want it. Now I'm going to hold the Alt key. And I'm going to bring that out. So what you end up doing is you, you're you jumping between the Control key and the Alt key with two fingers. And you're working the pen with your mouse. Now, that's enough about, I think you get that. I think you get that. Hold it. Click. Where am I going next? Alt key. I'm going there next. So drag it to it. That's pretty much a straight freaking line. Hold the Alt key. Bring it down. Now let's see what we've done over here. We have made this shape. And that's half of him. Now if we wanted to, see if we come over here to this shape that I made earlier. Get rid of him. You can see I traced out his head. Right? And now if we click over here, you can see that I traced out his ears. Now, I didn't finish the bottom of his ears. How do we do that? We hit the control key. That gives us our selection tool. I select this. Now I've got my pen tool. Now you see how that cursor changes? That's a little link. That means I'm going to link to that node. Now I'm going to get a circle. That means I'm closing the loop. Now see how I got off. So what we'll do is we'll hit our control key, bring this back up, and we'll figure out who's messing us up. Still holding the control key. Now you see that's what's going on. I am moving both of them. We'll switch over to the alt key. Our cursor will change to a V. Now we'll bring that down. And there we go. Switching between the control and the alt key are what makes the pen tool work for you. Okay, so we've been talking about tracing on this one, All right? Now you see how we've got that path selected? Let's unselect that path. Paths are the paths palette is just like the layers palette. Whatever you do in the layers has nothing to do with what you do in the in the uh, paths. They're their own separate layers, and they work separate. Okay, so let's look at this as a selection tool. As a selection tool, you just grab the magic wand, say, and you want to do this. You select him, and now you say, make work path. Boom, make work path. Go over to our work path there. Now, we have, we have done that. We have made him an outline. Let's save that path so we don't lose that path. Now, okay, let's go back. And you see what kind of a job the magic wand tool does. It's not crisp and it needs to be cleaned up. We'll do that in our next video. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll be back in our next uh, video. Bye bye. Thank you.